In this season, we've been telling stories of men and women who have positively impacted the growth of the church in this country. From very early, <laughs> I was inculturated into pop stuff. The church was not ready, you know, originally for that kind of music. It took a bit of performance and airplay mm. for it to be accepted. Maybe I was singing and telling God now, we sang our hearts out. And let me tell you that evening, Kenya to Ipenda in Atoka, Adam Naiva Ikiwekwa, Adam Naiva in Afwata. I said, thanks be to God. And so I can be off of what I need to be doing, what I sense God wants me to do, and, you know, just embellish things without being <laughs> abrasive, without being rude, mm. still being filled with the Holy Spirit. I've become less apologetic for doing what God wants me to do. Yeah. No season is forever. Seasons come and go. The book of Ecclesiastes talks about different seasons in life. There is a different season. So much expectation, there is no place where you are trained as a pastor's wife. That's why I'm, I have a passion for pastor's wives, because mm. I know many who are like that. Don't give up ministry, mm. just because something like that mm. happened. Just like because another leader did not like you. I'm the one who called you, and they are not the ones who called you. Mm. So stick, stick on the course. Mm. So whatever season you are in, just keep on praying and knowing that it will come to an end. God is faithful. Just stick on there. You will accomplish that which he has promised to accomplish. God bless you.